Hello everyone, it is March 21st and it is about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm coming out here so that I can take a look at my beehives, see whether they're pulling, um, whether the queen is laying now, see if they're making queen cups. I need to decide whether I need to reverse right now, which I'm pretty sure I do. As you can see, the bees are pulling in pollen nice yellow pollen uh, maples are in bloom pretty good around here uh, everything's starting to pop um, this is hive three this is my strongest hive but we'll move over as you can see hive four is doing really good I don't let's see if we see any pollen coming in Oh, yep, there's a girl. There's another girl. It's got nice yellow pollen. Okay, so there's another one, another one. So that's a good indication that they could be laying now. Last time I did this check, uh, I didn't see any brood. We also have to take a look over here at hive number one, which has not been my strongest. It suffered some losses. Um, I'm guessing I lost about half of my girls in this hive during the winter time uh, due to starvation. It was it was sad, but um, we had so much so much rain and so much um, snow that I didn't have a chance to get out. My entire yard is flooded. Looks really bad. You can see the water standing over there. Not a very good sight. Even my my apiary um, at the moment has got mud all over it all right so I'm gonna be getting into these hives and we're gonna take a look and I'll do my best to film as always it would be better if I had somebody here with me but let's go ahead and take a look into hive number one first as we can see hive number one has still got some syrup on it and the bees are taking it in okay they're not very strong I know that number three is out that's its box right there that I need to pour some syrup in there so I'm going to pop this up and we're going to take a look down inside and start looking at some of them frames. All right, we've got the hive open. We're going to start taking a look in there. Um, it's just the one box right now. So they've been eating a little bit of their pollen patty. But let's take a look inside here. Looks like they've got honey. And it looks like it's brand new honey. It's not the stuff that I put in there to try to help them. So that's a wonderful sign right there. What we're looking for mainly is to see if there's any brood. Ah, look at that. So my queen is laying. That's a wonderful sign. I'm so happy to see that, especially in this box. So, I got a bee right there. Got her tail down inside of a hole. And she just popped out. Can't really see inside. My eyes are getting bad. But we've got we got brood. So I'm happy about that. That means the queen's doing her job. Um, since I don't have too many um, frames in here that have bees on them, it shouldn't be too difficult to find her um, she is the one that I attempted to put some paint on last year and she moved around a little bit got some yeah there she is right there you can see where I got it in other places but she's still doing okay she's looking around she's pretty queen red's my problem I'm the one that messed up so I don't see any more brood right now, but at least she's on it, you know. She's facing it. She's, she's laying some. Um, I think that I might go ahead and replace her this year. I'm going to try my hand at making some queens and um, off of the number three. So if I do, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace her. So I don't see any queen cups right now. 
so that means that um, they're not ready to replace her and she's definitely not ready to leave so that's a good thing I don't think I have to worry about swarming this year at least not off of this hive come on get out of the way there we go so I'm gonna close these guys up and then we're gonna head into the next hive we've got hive three is open this is my strongest hive what I'm really happy about you can see they've all moved up to the top so it looks like it's time for me to make a switch on these and um, I'll get right into that. They're also the ones that ate through all of their, their syrup water from the last time I put it in. So I'll be topping them back off with that. I'll fill up their, their top one right there. So they've gone through a, a bunch of their sugar. You can see the ones that have come up here through the queen excluder. So I might be checkerboarding these. I don't expect too many more cold days right now. It might still be a little early, but, you know, I'll, I'll make that determination as we go. So, um, let's get right into it. So, we popped a couple of frames out. I'm just going to move this sugar off the top so we can take a look at it. Come on, girls. <laughs> They're like, no, my sugar, leave my sugar alone. Just put them right there on the table. So I've gone ahead and I've loosened them up, loosened the frames up so we can start getting into these with relative ease and me doing it with one hand. Okay, so nothing and nothing like I expected. So just sit these girls right here. Oh, sorry about that. So let's set these girls right here and let's get into the next one. Now what I'm looking for is queen cells and I'm looking for see there's honey they're bringing honey in so they're getting nectar so that's a good sign that's a really good sign so maybe all this rain and snow that we've had is going to help us a little bit this year as long as it calms down so we're also looking for brood that's in there I see I see more nectar and yeah you can see that one really has a lot in it but we're gonna keep looking till we find some brood and out of all of the boxes I've got this is the one that I want to see the brood in because these girls are fantastic at creating uh, honey and getting pollen and um, she's just a, a really strong queen I'm very very happy with her and this is uh, a swarm that I caught so I know that genetically they're they're from my area um, they're kind of dark but you can see the tiger striping in there so I, I tend to think that um, well the darkness would make me think that they were like Russian or something but the tiger striping makes me think that they're Italian but um, you know I just I just say that they're I say they're American, you know. They're from here in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And um, they came from some swarm, whether it was um, a feral hive or whether it was a, a hive that somebody kept, you know. I caught them when I got a phone call. And anybody else, you know, if you live in my area and you need... You see a swarm, please give me a call. All right, let's see here. You can also shoot me an email real fast at burnleyfarmapery at gmail.com. All right, I still see no, see no brood. Yep. Oh, there we go. So we got lots of brood on this side. Yep closed some new girls are in there you can see that they're growing really fat so let's see if we can see a queen on here that would be really really sweet right now girls are flying all around me they're not too happy that I'm in here with them okay I don't see the queen but since this was facing this way I'm expecting the next frame 
to also have brood on it. This is where she's starting. So let me just pull this apart. Reach up in here. Wow, yeah, this one's heavy. And look, look at all that. So this is the queen that I'm going to be making new queens off of. I am so happy with her. She is just a beast. She's just going to town. There's honey all around them. Look, the other side. Lots of brood. Already sealed. So she's starting to go to town. So look at the, the honey stores are right there. They're the one these girls are bringing in. Pollen like crazy. So I will re be reversing these two boxes now. Now I haven't seen signs of um, of queen cells yet. I am I am going to be reversing these two. Now if you can look inside here, let's see, get the sun on there. You see how it's all full of pollen. That is all fresh pollen. Lots and lots of fresh pollen. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. So let me see the other side. Okay, they got pollen on top. Got honey around the two sides. They're saving the middle for the queen, which I haven't seen, and that's fine by me. I know she's in there. I know she's doing her job. So, one last frame, and then I'm going to pull this whole box off. And I probably don't even need to look at this. But I'm going to pull this box off, and I'm going to switch the two boxes around. But I'll make sure that I film what I pull out. Now, this is pollen and honey. Uh, heavy, heavy stuff. Now, a lot of this could be the syrup water that I put in, which is fine by me, too. So, I'm going to close this up, and then we're going to open up the bottom box, and we'll take a look inside of there, and we'll see how things are going. Right, we're down the bottom box right now. See, they got a... A patty down here. That's because it was sitting before and I pulled a frame out and it dropped. We'll give them that back in a little bit. So I put a top on top of the top box at the moment right here because they like it dark. And I got to start digging in to the bottom box now to see whether, see what she's doing down here. I had, um, I had put a bunch of frames down here that had honey before because, you know, I expected her to start laying down here, but, you know, she did what bees do. They move up in the hive. My girls are not too happy. I don't want to be in here too much longer. Oops. All right, hold on a second. So I've got to show you this. So, as you can see, they've already pulled honey. See? See how pretty that is? They've already started pulling it and they've already capped it, but I pulled the next frame out. It was heavy. Oh my god, it's heavy, 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 heavy. So look at this. This is all this season. Okay? As I said, this is this is probably the sugar water that I put in there. But it doesn't matter. It shows you how good these girls are. I mean look at that. And this is the stuff that they're gonna be drinking, so I'm fine with that. Isn't that amazing? Ah, oh, heavy, 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 heavy. So, and this is the bottom one. Oh, yeah, that one's heavy too. Let's see what we got here. Now, this is the stuff from before. You can see where it's got wet cappings on it. Take a look at the other side. Yeah, and this is the stuff that they overwintered with. Okay, so I really don't even need to feed these girls anymore. They're doing fantastic. So I can make sure that my other ones get the, uh, the syrup if they need it, or at the very least, I'll put it out here. So this is uh, this one's completely empty. Yeah. So that one will get moved to the outside. Yeah, they're not happy with me at all. Empty. Yep, uh, so they've got brand new fresh stuff here. Bees are all over me right now. And these, these girls are usually pretty gentle too. I don't usually have a problem with them. The only reason why I really put my suit on is for box number one. They've always been defensive. Um, 
But I guess that's just the queen. So there's all the pollen they've been bringing in. So it looks like it's time for me to make a switch, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but what I am going to do... Oh, oh, hold on. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, look at that. Okay, so we do got brood down here. Look at this. It's not drone brood either like I was I would expect it to be. But I will put all of their brood on the same area. Got brood on this side too. So that's kind of Okay, so they are laying it down here also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the brood. I'm going to put it all together right now. Okay, we're still expecting uh, maybe some cold weather. Not, not enough to worry too much about. So I'm not going to checkerboard it right now, I don't think. Um, I, but what I do think is I'm going to come back in a week and then I'll checkerboard it then. So uh, we'll give you a little update on how I do that when I pop back in here. But for right now, what I want to do is I want to get all the brood together so that it's much easier for them to keep track of where everything's at. Okay, so um, I was just going to put the top box on the bottom and the bottom box on top, but now that I see that there's brood down here, I'm just going to slide these girls over. I'm going to grab the brood from the top. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to keep some honey on both sides of them with their pollen, and, and everything else is going to go up top. All right, so I'll be back in touch with you in a little bit after I get that all done, and then we'll be on to box number four to take a quick look. But no queen cells in box number three so far. All right, so we're going into box number four now. Um, their honey, or their uh, syrup water is completely empty. Um, they've eaten some of their, their pollen patty, uh, most of their sugar. This is their second cube, like all of these. They've had two so far this winter. But we're going to go and check the top box real fast. I don't expect anything to be in there. There's a, there's a queen ball empty. A couple of them on the bottom there. Let's see what we got over here. Now, got some burr comb. Just scrape that off real fast. You know the bees do not like my camera. I guess because it's black. So we're just going to pop this burr comb off right there. Let them figure out something else to do with that. So, they're pulling honey in also. Which could have came from their sugar water. But there's pollen. It's kind of intermixed though. It's not the pretty pattern one would expect. But we'll keep going. The whole idea here is to see, you can see where they've started a couple of more cups right there. So, maybe... I know that bees do this anyway. Just in case... But um, there might be something going on with the queen. We won't know that until we get down deeper. So all these top boxes are still empty. Um, these girls never moved up. They, they have stayed in the bottom box the whole time. So there was really no need for me to um, flip these before. I, I see no need for me to flip them this time. You know, I mean, exchange them around, reverse them. I've got a little girl here decide to sting me. Get off me. Okay. Let's see here. So, yeah, they're all empty. But I tell you, they do not like my camera whatsoever. As soon as I put this thing down off of number three so I can close it up, um, they were all over it. So, let me move this, and then we'll get into the next box. These girls are not happy whatsoever. One just stung me in my arms. They're starting to pull honey. Um, I got some wet cappings, but I think that was from what I did before. So, I don't see anything right here right now. Yeah, I sell some wet cappings, and um, that might have been from what I gave them from Hive 3. Got a little webbing right here. See, got a little webbing, pulling that out. 
hopefully I haven't had any moths get in here. Um, these girls seem pretty defensive. They're not happy with me being in here right now, so. Uh, pollen and honey and okay. just sliding these frames as fast as I can. So, alrighty. So let's see what we got here. Flip this right. Okay. So good. So we've got ourselves a frame of brood. That means I've got a queen in here working. Lovely sight. I'm starting to get worried the way these girls were attacking me. So let's flip it to the other side. Take a look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. So no queen cells. I can start to see um, a couple of larger ones, the drone cells. They've already been capped, so the drones will be coming out. So my guess is... Um, the pollen up top. It's a lot of gray pollen. My my club was just talking about the gray pollen down here in uh, central Virginia, and they were all curious about what it might have been from. So, if any of you watching this might have an idea where the gray pollen was coming from in central Virginia, please leave a message on my channel, and um, I'll make sure that that news gets to them. So I can see that there's a lot of cells on the bottom that they're getting ready to start building drone okay that's normal for this time of the year um, I got eggs all around see see all that is already sealed but as you can see right here there's babies all on the side can you see that I hope that okay let's flip it around same thing on the other side looks like we've got okay, they're sealing that up it's not a real queen cell it's just sticks out a little bit further. We've got a couple of these cells that kind of poke out a little bit more than the rest of them, which is kind of strange. If uh, anybody's got an idea why some of these might poke out further without actually bending down, um, give me a holler. Let me know. I'd appreciate it. Um, now, as the... looks like they're actually starting to seal it off a little bit. So maybe, maybe those are the queen cells that they're starting to make, but except that one right there is already is already sealed but as you can see the one right there should be in the middle of the screen I can't see myself should be in the middle of the screen see how it's poked out a lot further than the rest there's a few of them on there like that now I don't know if that means that they were going to turn those into Queens possibly and maybe change their mind or I don't know that's a great thing about being a new beekeeper I don't have all the answers, and I'm good with that. All right, and so we're not, now there's a lot of new eggs being laid up in here. Fantastic. But it's over on the edge, so what I'm going to do is, uh, nothing on the other side. So, I'm going to slide these girls in towards the center instead of letting them build everything on the side. I'm going to slide these in towards the center. I'm going to take the honey that they've got, and I'm going to put them on the outside, and then I'm going to start framing everything up. And as I said, I think I'll come back out here next week um, when it's a little bit warmer, and I think we're going to be a lot better at moving things, and then I'll checkerboard everything. Okay? So I'm going to close this up right now, okay, before they get any matter at me. Um, and I'm going to give them some sugar. But right now, I think I'm okay. Doing good. So, turn this around. So, Burnley Farm Apiary, <laughs> with all my mad little girls. This is Thurman. Y'all take care.